Um, <laughs> we also got to take a look at shares of Pin, Pin Duo yep. Duo. Yeah. Yeah, they're in focus too after reporting earnings Monday, beating on the top and bottom line. Chinese e commerce companies saw a revenue growth of 36% year over year, signing recovery in consumer senti sentiment. This is a Jared Blickery favorite, always giving this stock a, a mention on the uh, Yahoo Finance uh, Interactive or the Wi Fi Interactive. Good quarter from the company, triple digit operating income growth as the as the uh, key markets in China recover. But look, uh, we've seen China GDP estimates come way down over the past few weeks. The street is marking these estimates down. Makes me question how much growth this company has left this year. Can they come back here three months from now and put up another quarter like this? Because the market is betting on that happening, uh, at least here this morning. Yeah, recovery in consumer sentiment is what they were citing here. And also the growth that they had seen in net income, that came in at about $1.33 billion. And there you're taking a look at some of the actuals versus the estimates. And for good reason, you're seeing the shares move higher and then price in about 15% of a move higher here on the day. But the larger question is how much some of the revenue from the online marketing services at a time where you're having companies across the world pull back on their marketing spend and trying to brace wherever they can for a, a recession, whether it be deep, long or protracted or even short uh, in stature, where that continues to impact some of those different lines of revenue and marketing is one of those, especially as the marketing services that they had seen, the revenue from that jumped about 39% this most recent quarter. Fun name, though. Very catchy. Pin Fun name. Yeah. Do you want to correct myself from earlier? It was Stephen Tamaris, who was the... Also a bad CEO. Oh, oh, well, there you go. Right up there at Bob Martin. <laughs>